Okay, do you need to count your repetitions? This is a question I get asked a lot, but before I share my perspective on it, I wanna thank everyone for supporting the channel. And for those interested, you can visit the website for the complete training course, as well as consultations, custom programs, and free programs, and join the free community to learn more about calisthenics. Okay, I look at counting reps the same way I look at measuring ingredients with cooking. So when you cook, you don't need to measure anything out, but doing so can help ensure you get the flavors that you're after. And it's very similar with training. So counting your reps can help ensure you're training hard enough to make the gains you're after, but not so hard as to compromise your recovery capacity. And it's just easier to do that when you know your maximum repetition count for an exercise, and then you know how many repetitions you're training with each set. And it's also a very useful measure of progress. It's not the only measure of progress, but it's definitely a useful one. And if you find yourself unable to achieve a repetition count that you know you should be able to achieve, then now you know you need to look at your program to figure out what went wrong. Now there are some people who are obsessed with chasing repetitions and there are others who get really stressed out by the pressure they feel when it comes to achieving a certain repetition target. And for these people, I think it's a great idea to take a step back from counting altogether and just focus on form, movement quality, and enjoying the process. And for many people, they feel like they have their best training when they just skip counting altogether and focus on listening to their intuition, adjusting on the fly, and enjoying the process. And again, just like with cooking, some of the best things you might ever make in the kitchen come from ditching the measuring cups, listening to your intuition, drawing from your previous experience, and just adding what you feel you need to in order to make something really tasty. But just like with training, that takes practice and experience, and that experience is usually built on a backbone of something more structured. So there's nothing wrong with going that route, but just make sure you have the experience to make it work. So it all comes down to personal preference. Remember that counting does not actually drive the adaptation process, but it can help ensure you're training hard enough and managing your fatigue. But either way works, just do what you enjoy. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.